what the heck is that? <laughs> Little mounds. While we have the Mima mounds back home, I have no idea what all these mounds are. They're, they're pretty strange. It could be underground bunkers, or it could be petrified Paul Bunyan number twos. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's natural or man-made. You, ne you just never know. I'm thinking man-made. Like they did something to the ground and then piled them up there. But I really don't know. All right. An old Route 66 there. Let's go have a good day. Back on Route 66 we go. Um, also, <laughs> gas prices, as I, as I pointed out, were uh, $5 a gallon here in California on Route 66. And just about 90 miles away in Arizona, it's half that. It's $2.49 a gallon. Literally half the price the state over. That's California for you, though. And kind of Route 66, too. So, uh, I can make it <laughs> and uh, not, not fill up in California again. Sound good? Yeah, to me it does. Um, half mile down the road, it said Route 66 is closed ahead, and now you see this sign, closed at Caddis Road, no through traffic. So, Route 66 is no longer an option, but it does say that there's access to I-40 ahead. Is that what that says? It's tough. I don't have any service. I can't pull up maps. I don't, I have no way of planning this out. I'm not going to turn around, although I have done that lots of times on Route 66 before. Uh, I'm going to attempt to just go up here and hit the I-40 access again because Route 66 is not always going to be an option. Not always. Obviously. Actually, wait. Yes, I forgot. I can access maps through GPS. Let me just make sure. Let me just double check that real quick. Yes, we're good. We're going to go up here and then turn left to go on I-40 and head on through to get to Arizona. So, I'll cut back in with anything interesting on Route 66, guys. Okay? Hey, wait, before the road closed, they did some work here at Roy's Cafe. They cleaned it up, gave the old sign a paint job, looking good. And they might be working on the, reopening the hotel. I'm just assuming, because look, they repainted all of the exteriors of them. Actually, on second thought, I think they're just trying to preserve it so that we can still see it, which is actually, maybe that's even better than trying to reopen it just leave it almost in its original state so you can still look around. I wouldn't trust that mattress though, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's go check out the bathroom. Ugh, yeah, it's definitely original in here. Uh, and ugh, that's just tacky. The way of the superior man, a spiritual guide to mastering the challenges of women work. <laughs> okay, no air conditioning in here though. Oh, cool. Yeah, none of them have any doors. I guess that means they can't lock it up at night either, but there's nothing to really do in there. That's pretty cool. And the cafe, it's not really a cafe. It's a convenience store, a gas station here on Route 66. Thankfully, I have that 80-gallon fuel tank, so I can make it to Arizona. Not everybody else can. I mean, look, they're lined up for fuel. Look at that price, $4.99 a gallon. Yeesh. The Amboy Post Office, cute little post office, like a one-person post office. In fact, I think the one person who works here also lives here at the post office. <laughs> um, okay. Not everybody can afford a really nice Christmas tree, so this is your standard Route 66 recycled Christmas tree. Uh-huh. It's Route 66, so just don't ask, just enjoy it. And here we are on I-40. Uh, east, about 18 miles from the Arizona border. All in all, the detour, the Route 66 closure detour, it cost me an hour and 10 minutes. That's a long detour to come back off and get back on, but it actually works out because I did check the Pilot Flying J just inside Arizona. Like I said, it's $2.49 a gallon, and they have a dump station, so my good Sands member, it's five bucks to dump and they should have some drinking water too so it's actually a really good little stop travel stop on the road before we get right back into it going up the mountains that's the uh, colorado river down there which means there it is right there mile zero arizona state line right there welcome to arizona
Uh, Route 66 to Oatman would be this exit right here and then going up north. But like I said, we're gonna go about eight miles more and get gas in this pilot, so. Welcome to Arizona, the Grand Canyon State welcomes you. Awesome. And what did I learn about washing windows when it's triple digits? It's impossible <laughs> because as you're squeegeeing it to clean it, before you can even turn it around to swipe, it's melted, dried on there, so. <laughs> it's worse now, sorry. It is so hot. Oh yeah, I had to treat myself to a, a chocolate frosty there at the Wendy's inside the store since I did such an awesome job on the windshield. Yeah, okay, I don't know how to wash the windshield very well. <laughs> Needs more water, it's just too dry here. Mm. It's delicious, you wouldn't like it. We don't need no stinking pool. We got the Colorado River as our pool here in Topic, Arizona. Oh yeah, that is super cold. <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna cool down the second I got into Arizona. It is gonna take a couple days to get to where I wanna get to where it's nice and cool. The mighty Colorado River. It's been a while since I've been in ya. I mean, air conditioning is great, but the water, kind of a natural way to just Cool me down today. Yeah. We gonna go see some donkeys today? Donkey! Let's go up into Oatman. Let's have some fun. Oatman, Arizona, clearly one of the quirkiest places you will find on Route 66. I call it Donkeyville. Is this the cool spot, guys? Is this where all the action's at? You guys friendly? They're, they're wild donkeys that, that roam the town of Oatman? Hi. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hanging out with donkeys today, guys. How cool. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> Got that old western feel with all the storefront facades and everything. The classy ass. That's what it says. Here's an Olive Oatman yeah, restaurant that, here. Yeah, man, if you want a beer or something. Uh, Similar to Tombstone, Bisbee, Winthrop, Washington, those kind of places. Definitely touristy, but they had fun with it. It's all about ass. Asses. Oh, they have an escape room here in Oatman. That's cool. Fast fannies. I wonder what Jax would think of one of these jackasses. I wonder. He'd probably, he'd, he'd probably just get right up in their face, wouldn't he? This one's coming for me. Are you friendly? Yeah. Uh, Ready? Yeah, Whoa now, buddy. Ooh, let's get out of here snuck up on me there. It's a cool town. I got another video from here where I went into a lot more shops and stuff. I'm not going to do that today, so I'll pop a video up here. If you're watching on your computer, you can check out several years ago here in Oatman. Actually, before we leave, I still need a 2019 Oatman magnet. Mm, wait a minute. What do we have for magnets? Well, that one's cool. It's a metal one. I think that's my favorite. Went with a cold beverage, the Sioux City Sarsaparilla Root Beer. Oh, you wouldn't like it. It's delicious.
squash one thing before it turns into a rumor. The, the road, although it's treacherous, the road east out of Oatman on Route 66, uh, it's not that RVs aren't allowed, but there is a sign that says vehicles over 40 feet towing not advised. That's what it says. So, but still, uh, my RV, I had to, I physically had to go over the double yellow several times just to physically get through, and that was a uh, kind of a white knuckle drive. But I'm glad it's over with. It puts us here at Cool Springs Cabin. I think it's a tourist trap, but I'm gonna check it out. It's at least a gift shop because those gas pumps don't work. Yep, museum, gift shop. Route 66 Cola. It's a tourist trap worth stopping at. I didn't need a new magnet, but they did finally, for the first time since Santa Monica, have the Route 66 Cola. So I went with the black cherry, which I know is already my favorite. I've never tried the blue raspberry version of that. So I'll put these in the fridge and enjoy them over the next few days. All right, next stop, Kingman, Arizona. All right, we're in Kingman, Arizona now. Very big part of Route 66, actually. And look at this really cool restaurant, Mr. D's Route 66 Diner. Looks like that 50s, you know, pink and turquoise. It's a cool looking diner. And we're just getting started here on Route 66. It shows all the uh, big names that we're gonna see. So yeah, let's check out what Kingman has. Historic Route 66, Scenic Road. What is this? It's, it's, that's a weird car, okay? It says electric on it. Possibly the strangest thing I've ever seen. That's from Washington too. Oh, weird. Well, a sign in the window says it's a Geo Metro. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Nice work. Looks very space age. Made in Arizona. It's a little class C RV made out of metal. And they have a class A also. And another magnet, just like the one from Oatman. This one says Kingman on it, same style. Well, the museum closes in two hours, so I got half price off of my admission. It was only two bucks to get into the uh, Route 66 Museum here at the Powerhouse. And this is a prairie schooner. Uh-huh, for uh, pioneers coming over. There's no air conditioning in that wagon. Early campers. Yeah. <laughs> what are you making there? Oh, you're doing dishes? She's doing dishes. Kind of messy campers. Look at all. <laughs> they better take it all with them when they leave. <laughs> I know you will, guys. Granny, isn't your spot up there on top? Oh, there oh. you go. You can camp in a Studebaker. Of course. Ooh, that's pretty. They've got some very weird, unique automobiles in here. Speaking of the mother road and being quirky. This was made in 2003, said to go 70 miles an hour. Electric, the 1993 of some sort. Uh, Mercedes electric. And that's definitely a Rolls Royce. Ooh, there's your charger for your car. I don't know about electric cars, so. Okay, a 1987 electric motorcycle. I did not know they started them that early. Look at all those lead acid batteries in there. No, no, no. Strange random collection of electric cars in the basement. Okay, you know, anything on wheels, it's gonna be related, related to Route 66. You know, I'm trying to think how I made it a whole day without any food, without eating anywhere. It's like 4.30 and I still haven't eaten anything all day. Is it just because I didn't find anything? Let's go find some food and then I'm, I need to find a spot to park. You know, I'll give Kingman some credit. They, they've got everything. They've got historic Route 66 where it's, you know, a little more remote. And then there's this part of Kingman that has everything. There's a Walmart. There's a Golden Corral right next door to a Five Guys. And I just found the first Cracker Barrel on Route 66 so far, right on Route 66. I mean, uh, so of course I don't know yet for sure, but I'm gonna go in and have dinner here. Actually, uh, yeah, it's five o'clock, it's dinner time. And I'm gonna see if it's okay to overnight park because not all Cracker Barrels in the country allow it. Sometimes their city ordinance is against it and they can't do anything about it. But again, they have a RV designated bus, long slots. So that's cool. I'm hungry, I'm so hungry. Oh, but Jax has air conditioning. Everything's cool and legit in here. Um, interestingly enough, I was talking with Kevin, camper van Kevin, 
about uh, cooling spaces with the air conditioner and he would talk about you know just cooling a smaller area like the bedroom or something like that well it turns out with this slide in you're you're cooling less square feet right so it actually is cooling better i have noticed in here keeping all the slides in and keeping the bedroom door shut which it is wide open right now <laughs> but anyway yeah okay i'm gonna go eat I did beat the rush here. I beat the dinner rush. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing a burger, I'm doing chicken. Wait, with the Sunday home style breaded chicken, mashed potatoes, candy corn, and biscuits with apple butter spread. Mm. Mm. You would like it, it's delicious. That was scrumptious. Way better than I could have made in the RV. I love Cracker Barrel. I basically got the okay to stay here. Not really the okay, but they said, yeah, it's probably fine. People do it all the time and we don't have a problem with it. And for my waiter to say that, that was enough for me to say, yeah, it's probably gonna be okay. Sounds good to me. So, uh, you know, and I brought home some chicken for Jax. I also got a little piece of pie for later. <laughs> That's horrible. I know I'm eating terrible on Route 66. Hey, big shout out to my buddy, uh, Sean in, in uh, East Alton. He runs uh, Modified Auto there in East Alton. If you're looking for window tinting or stereo installs, custom, anything, uh, he, he is in, he's embarking upon a diet and uh, I'm proud of you, buddy. I don't know how you do it, man. You're stronger than I am. I just, I can't do it, but you got this, buddy. I'll go on a diet one day, one day. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, big changes to come. Uh, my next video, you won't see triple digits where I'm at. As a matter of fact, the high there tonight, today was 71. The low tonight there is 33 degrees. So from 111 degrees to 33 degrees, you could not go farther <laughs> in just one day. And I'm looking forward to the change. I need the change on Route 66. So you guys take care, Jackson. I'll see you back on the mother road in a few days. Bye guys. You wouldn't like it, it's delicious. Oh, you'd like it? I brought it for you. Use likes? Use likes. Don't just lick it. I hate when cats do that. Dogs just inhale it. Cats lick it to death. There you go. Was that pretty good? You want to tell me about it? Do you want to tell me more? He's like, give me more chicken and we'll talk, dude. Love you, man.